93 miles down the road from Dennis Dixon, Eugene, is small Linfield College. They've won four national championships, but they have something that no other college football team has ever had. Chris Connolly has more. This is how we're rocking and rolling today, and we're going to get it done. We're setting the tempo all day long. You got it? For George Lemon, on the coaching staff at Division III Linfield College in rural Oregon, it is a dream come true. This season, his four sons, Chet, a senior, Chase, a junior, Bubba, a sophomore, and Michael, a freshman, are all playing on the same team, his team. Now give me a little pop there. I'm on the sideline, I'm coaching my kids, my kids are running up and down the field, and we're having a blast. Seems like nobody can come up with an example of this ever having happened before. Not that I can think of something pretty unique. Mark it down in history. <laughs> lemon, 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 lemon. If that last name sounds familiar, there's a good reason. Because these four young athletes are the grandsons of Meadowlark Lemon, the Harlem Globetrotters legend who delighted generations of young fans as the consummate basketball showman. We shared my dad with the millions of people who say that I remember when. I remember seeing your dad back and they can name the arena and the whole thing. I remember a couple instances when I was about five years old. I was sitting in, in, in between him and Curly while they were getting dressed for the game, tearing up the newspaper for the water bucket gag. Ha <laughs> ha, the old paper trick. To be able to go from watching my grandfather play basketball. All right, we went down there one time there, baby. To now he's watching me play football. It's real amazing to be able to experience something like that. Just being in the same arena with them, I don't care if they don't do anything but walk on the field out there. That's special. Bubba is a starting cornerback, but in the second half of a game earlier this year, he joined his three brothers on the punt coverage team. I came off the field, I go, hey, Dad, I think we might have just made history. He goes, what are you talking about? And they're like, did you see it? Did you see it? And I was like, see what? All four of us were out there on the same time. And they're like, all four of us. I'm like, what you mean all four of you? On this Saturday, with Meadowlark in attendance, George and his sons helped Linfield to a 24 to nothing victory. You did good, man. You did good, you did good. Thank a you. homecoming weekend that will be another big highlight in a season this family will remember forever. I didn't know where we were looking. Hold on. I didn't know where we were looking. I made it a point that I was going to savor every moment of this, of this year because I knew it would never be able to repeat itself again. We're all here together, all four boys. I think this is the greatest time for them right now. I've got four brothers playing on the same college team and their dad's coaching the defensive back. I don't think it could get any better than that. It's so good to watch it and see it in action, <laughs> to see his face light up when he sees it. You get to play with your brothers, for your father, well, your grandfather's metal arc lemon. It doesn't get any better than that. Unfortunately, they lost this past weekend and lost their chances for a conference championship and thus the playoffs as well. All right, stick around. Zach from Georgia, Justin from North Carolina. Don't go anywhere. Your questions and more answered next on our Extra Points.